this is Mina. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm gonna show you one of my family's favorite recipes. It's called pasta alie olio. You can use any kind of pasta you like. Today I'm gonna to use uh, penne, but any kind of pasta. It's basically pasta with garlic and oil, and I just change it up by what I add to it. Back in the day, I would put chicken in it. You could put shrimp with it. You can um, add any kind of vegetable. I like it with spinach or broccoli really any kind of mixture of any vegetable would work. So today I'm I'm cutting up broccoli to add to it. So I've got a few shortcuts on how to make this recipe quick and easy. It'll be a surefire family favorite. Um, three of my kids have gone vegan. I have five kids. Um, so we're a family of seven of which three are vegan now. So I usually try to create something we all can eat, but the only thing that's um, not vegan about this is the Parmesan cheese you add to it, or of course, if you're adding meat, which I'm not gonna do. So super simple, family favorite recipe that's literally ready in minutes, and it'll be gone just as quick too. So I've got a pot of water boiling behind me, and it's actually at a rolling boil right now. This is my trick where I just use my sleeve, or I guess I could be proper and use a mitt. I'm gonna put salt in the pot, which you can easily omit this step. So you can measure with a measuring spoon, or I just like to cut my hand. I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon of salt in the water. When you do that, the water comes to an even bigger boil. I probably could have been more generous with the salt, but you really don't need it. I'm just salting the water to add a little more flavor to this pasta. I get this at Costco too, organic broccoli, organic penne. This is a small portion, but that's all I really want right now. I actually like to be super generous lately with the more broccoli than pasta actually. And wait till you see how easy the sauce is to make. You can get fancy with this. You literally just need oil and garlic. You can add chopped parsley to it as a finishing touch, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So right now, I'm just trying to make a couple of portions here for my daughter and her friend. in the basement watching TV. I just want them to relax while I just do my my mothering job, which is serving them. So that's a lot of broccoli for two people and for that much pasta. But look, I keep going because I wouldn't mind some broccoli with a little pasta in it. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a wash. I've got the pasta going. So, I'm just gonna give that a stir. I like my pasta al dente, so we'll keep an eye on that. I wonder why I clean up while I do this. Like, can't I do that after? I can't. Gave the broccoli a quick, quick rinse. I could saute that separately in the pan and then add it to the pasta. But then I found a nice, cheap, shortcut thing to do, and I'll show you. Save the pan, and I'm just gonna start to make my garlic and oil sauce. That's about a half a cup of oil. I could even use less. And then the best part is this garlic. So I'm just gonna pound the cloves out. So here's my favorite garlic press. Some people like to pick the skin off. I just put it in my press. I find it works just fine. But so far I'm on the fifth and sixth clove in this, this press, and I'm still not done. A lot more, because to me, garlic equals health. I know I've said this in another video that my grandmother lived to two months shy of being 102 years old. And every recipe she made started with olive oil, garlic. I love the flavor. Some people don't have that fortune. They have a reaction to garlic. I think 
hopefully it's nothing but delicious flavor to me. I use the whole thing. You don't have to use that much. It's how much do you like. So what else am I gonna put in there? Well, I'll just season it. So I'll put some garlic powder, like a quarter teaspoon. Okay, so what if you put a half a teaspoon? It is still gonna taste good. Salt, be careful with that. So just a half a teaspoon. I don't need this to be really salty. Um, that's enough for me. So I've already got some on the pasta. I love when I pour the salt out and then I put it back in. Because do I really want a quarter teaspoon of salt? I will take, yeah, that was about a quarter teaspoon. So anyway, this is pepper. It's already ground about a quarter teaspoon of this pepper, okay? And I'm gonna do the same with this red pepper. I guess while we're waiting here, I will grate some Parmesan cheese. So here I am, just grabbing a plate so that I can double check that my sauce is okay. And I feel like I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. So this is, you can buy Parmesan cheese, right? Already grated. When I first got married, it was 27 years ago. I actually used to buy the Kraft Parmesan cheese in the can. And that was what we would use. And then I started to buy freshly grated from a store called Caputo's, an Italian market down the street. And I loved that. Now, there's just nothing better for me than freshly grating it myself. The taste is different. It's just fresher, it's smoother. I don't know, there's something about it. I can't explain it without, you know, you discovering the difference for yourself. But if I were to go back to that green can, I mean, let's not be unappreciative, right? If that's all you have, I'll, I'll eat it. But if I had to pick my own, this is my choice. And now I can hear my sauces sizzling. It's super fragrant and I don't want my garlic to burn. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on that. Don't let me forget, I'm stirring the pasta. I think it's getting ready to being done. Let's see. Yep, that's about a minute away from being done. It's a little too hard, but I'm almost good taking it out that way because that's gonna keep cooking. You know, the heat of the food is gonna keep cooking it. So now there's this beautiful sizzle that's happening to my garlic. I'll just show you. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's a lot of garlic. I haven't ruined it, I haven't burned it. So that's good. So what I'm gonna do is just take a measuring cup and it doesn't, it's, you know, if I put a quarter cup, fine. If I put a half a cup, fine. I'm putting, um, let's see, I'll do two cups of water. What if I just did a cup? I don't really have recipes, guys. So this is coming to a rolling boil now. And I'm, I put two cups of water in there. That's it, my recipe is pretty much done. I boiled pasta. I added the, gar the broccoli at the last minute. I'm gonna put my, drain the water. I just made a lot of sauce by adding that water. I didn't really need to add that much, but I think you can't screw it up. Especially if you were gonna put cheese in all of this pasta. So now I have the pan of pasta and broccoli and I'm just gonna pour this over the top of it. I'll just take this spatula and just get out any of that precious garlic that's left behind and then give it a stir and that's it. Recipe done. See that water and that garlic oil combination just kind of gets flavors everything, the, the pasta, the broccoli. All I have to do is add some Parmesan cheese. If I did it for everyone in this pot, then it would just kind of thicken that sauce I added in there. And that would be amazing. But I 
have to respect the vegans, so I'm gonna just plate this. And see, I personally love, like look at that delicious broccoli. I love it. So that's just a healthful portion of vegetables. That's how I love it. You can add parsley to this if you want, but it doesn't really need it. Does that look amazing? I'm gonna say yes. You can add some more red pepper flakes. That's it. I plated it. I've got one with Parmesan cheese and one without. I'm ready to serve it. That's pasta, aglie, olio, con broccoli. And don't judge my Italian. You know what I'm saying. Pasta with garlic and oil and broccoli. It is amazing. Bon appetit. This is Mina. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Let's just take one bite and see if you like it. But you got to get some pasta and broccoli in it. Okay? Kian with a civilized bite, Cameron with a monster sized bite. It's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Like on a scale of one to 10? 10. 9.5. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me show you the door. There's <laughs> <laughs> Cameron back with an empty plate to get another serving. So it really. Must have been good. Must have been a 10. Did you change your rating? Okay, still a 9.5, that's okay, I'll take it, it's pretty good.